Here's a small update before we get on to the next segment. This is about six hours after the parts have been sprayed with the clear. And I will leave that until tomorrow. I did come come back, so I should have just left them there, but this is the back part here where I had the runs. It's got a little bit of dust in it, but no problem. Here's that beautiful Captain Dio Speed Demon. That's how you paint black, okay? That's how you do it. I mean, if you're going to paint black, you want to absolutely mirror polish like that. But only if you're a really expert and you're really, really good looking, like me, <laughs> then you can do it. <clears throat> Just kidding. There's the headlight bezel. Now, back to the thing at hand. I want to show you what I just got in today. I have, I've had a lot of people ask me about carburetors. How, not how they work, but how they, they're connected and things like that. We're going to, I'm going to do a little series on that for some of you guys out there and girls that, that have never done it before. Let me show you what I first got in. Now, a few days ago, I got in this uh, Sudco KN race carburetor. Now these, this all goes to that carburetor with my new experiment. These, this is everything from Motion Pro. This is a shrink wrap, wrap tubing, which is real cheap. That goes really good around wires that you don't want rubbed out. This right here is a Pro Black racing throttle right here. And I'm going to put that on my, I'm going to try and put it on my deal right here. But in order to do that, I've got to change the kill button and this mirror right there. The one thing that I overlooked in all my years of building the bikes, I put on a bigger carburetor, bigger reeds, bigger everything, but I was using a Honda 50 throttle. And I'm not sure if I've got my carburetor open all the way. Now here's the other one I ordered. I got a really good deal on um, shipping. So they, they said if you order a turbo throttle, look at that one. I mean, that's solid steel. No, well, it's solid bling. And it's got a rotary knob dealy up here. But well, the one thing I learned about throttles that I had no idea about is that different throttles are made for different size carburetors. As far as you, this, this, this will work up to a 32 millimeter carburetor and lower. This one will work up to a 34 and lower, but not, not larger. It's because of the internal guts right here that, that twist the throttle open that give you so much um, leverage on your throttle cable, which we'll get into that. Here is a throttle cable, which I got a good deal on, and I'm going to open this up and we're going to use that tonight. This is your standard Motion Pro cable, black vinyl, it's universal, but to me it looks like it's a little bit universally too damn short, but we'll see. Now this is the end that we're really going to be looking at right here. This end right here is going to go in the carb. And what I'm going to do is, uh, after this video, we're going to do a little bit of throttleology, uh, so I can show people just how easy it is to do and how simple it is, so you don't get screwed paying 75 bucks to a mechanic who's laughing his ass off at you. Now, I got a set of uh, road 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 control grips, and they're medium. I think it's medium. rubber. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe it is. Then what I got, I got a really good deal on um, shipping. So for my new custom gyro license plates, I've got some original uh, steel fasteners, which are nice for my plate here. For my gyro plate, 1985 Honda gyro. It'll look, I mean, it isn't we got a saying in America, it ain't cool if your chrome don't shine. Which means, you know, put some bling on it. 
Because when I was growing up, everything was chrome. They don't chrome anything anymore, and it just looks like crap. Then, this is called a cable luber, right here. And what you do with this is you take your, this end of the cable right here, and you put it in this little vice-like thing, and you see that little tiny hole right there, you get your cable lube, which I can't really find at the moment, but it's up there somewhere, I know. It's up, it's up here somewhere. Oh, there it is. PJ1 cable lube. Now, you just, you take the cable lube, and you put a little red hose on that, and uh, shoot it down in here. And what that does is it forces the fluid all the way down in, down in through here. And when it comes out the other end, then you know that you've got a good setup. Now this is another thing I ordered. I didn't know they had this. This is just totally cool. This this is a fuel line shutoff valve. That's for us serious racers. You got to have one, you know, just to be cool. And then I got two cap adjustments for these I think I think they go on the end right here I thought I was getting their cable adjusters I thought I was getting one for uh, for the carburetor but I guess not that's all right but this is my new theory right now since I have these, these bigger carburetors that I've been using, I've been using a Honda 50 throttle, which is great for a 14 millimeter carburetor, which is stock for a Honda 50. But when you're talking about 28 millimeters, I'll bet you that this Makuni right here has got a little bit more slide height from the top to the bottom. It has to be pulled on. And the gears in here are different ratioed. So you can either, you can get throttles that will open in a quarter throttle. I mean, from zero to wide FO. And uh, WFO means wide fucking open. Excuse my French, but that's an old motocross term. Back in the day when real men drove motocross. Okay, that's all I got on that. And on the next segment, we're going to install this cable inside this brand new carburetor. I want to show you how easy it is to do.